A big discovery by ASU scientists. They uncovered more than a dozen fossilized teeth at a site they were working in Africa. They could belong to a human ancestor never before discovered. 12 News journalist Tricia Hendricks has the story. A team led by ASU scientists started a fascinating project in Africa back in 2002 with a few objectives. To find geological sediments that were dated sometime between 3 million and 2.5 and million years ago. I was also interested in looking for early the genus Homo, which is what we are. ASU paleocologist Kay Reed says their work was based on a simple question. What can we contribute to human evolution. Recently, her team published a paper in the journal Nature about some of their findings. Two different um, hominin, which is what we call anything with two legs that looks like us, species in our area that we are allowed to work in in Ethiopia. They uncovered a collection of fossilized teeth at a field site believed to belong to a newly discovered species of Australopithecus. We found five teeth in like 10 minutes. And it was very exciting. They recovered a total of 13 teeth. The fossils estimated to be between 2.6 and 2.8 million years old. The discovery appears to show there's potentially an overlap in the fossil record of Australopithecus and early Homo species coexisting in the same location. We want, now want to know, were they in competition with, with each other? Were they eating the same thing? Was one of them in the trees? Was one of them on the ground? We need a lot more fossils to answer some of those questions. What they have learned. It's possible that it's a new species because the teeth don't match anything, but we need like a new skull. So that'd be great. We've always loved to find a skull. And then you would have a lot more characteristics that you could see if they match or don't match. But until they find more fossils to help tell the story of what happened to our ancestors long ago, Kay hopes their work and discoveries benefit the broader ASU community. See how life is different outside, culturally, outside of Arizona, outside of the United States, and to learn skills, identification skills, or in the lab, skills on a computer that they can use even if they don't want to be a paleoanthropologist. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. If you'd like to learn more about the team's findings, head to our website, 12news.com.